Okay, so this is a video tutorial on how to set up the loopback adapter for synthesis. And there's also a text tutorial with the same content available here if you want to use that instead. So the the reason we're doing this is in order for it to talk to the in order for the code emulator to talk to the driver station, it needs to have a particular IP address. And the loopback adapter allows us to do that. So the first step is to go into device manager by typing device manager into the start menu and pressing enter. And then you're going to want to find a thing called add legacy hardware in the action menu. Now this doesn't appear by default, and so you have to click the show hide console tree button twice, and then it will show up and you click add legacy hardware, next, and then you want to select advanced because what we're adding isn't actually physically hard physical hardware, so it wouldn't be able to detect it automatical automatically. And then you want to click next and then go to network adapters here. Then you want to find Microsoft on the left menu and K Microsoft CAM test loopback adapter on the right menu. You want to click next, and then next, and then finish. And to make sure this is actually installed, go to network adapters in the tree view and you'll see Microsoft CAM test loopback adapter listed there. So the next step is to actually set the IP address to the IP address that is expected by the driver station. So you're going to want to open up network and share center and then click on change adapter settings and then there should be one it's probably going to be called Ethernet 2 but it will always say Microsoft cam test loopback adapter on the bottom so you want to find the one that says that right click click properties and then go to internet protocol version 4 and then click properties again and then you're going to set the manual IP address by saying use the following IP address then your IP address is going to be formatted like this. So it's going to be 10 point the first two digits of your team number, point the second two digits of your team number, point two. So for mine, it's 10.36.36.2 because my team number is 3636. And then your subnet mask is always going to be 255, 255, 255, 0. And then you can leave all the other fields blank, click OK, click Close, and then you are done. And hopefully the emulator will talk to the driver station. And one other thing you want to be aware of is that when you start the emulator and when you start the driver station, you're going to want to make sure to let it through the firewall. Thank you for Otherwise watching this synthesis tutorial. Be sure to check out our other video tutorials. If you're interested in contributing to synthesis, make sure to check out our GitHub page as well.